hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x is equals to x divided by 11 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root further i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root at the end of this video uh, so please watch the complete video uh, and also i can solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so we move towards our first method and in the first method you see here the denominator in the left hand side is 1 it will be written as x divided by 1 is equals to x divided by 11 and now here uh, we need to cross multiply the terms and we multiply this one with x and we multiply 11 with this x so 11 times of this x becomes here 11 x and 1 times of x becomes here 1 x so because here uh, we've solved this problem for the values of x so that's why we move uh, the variable term uh, from right hand side to the left hand side this is x uh, when we move it into the left hand side it will become minus x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we have 11 x minus x becomes 10 x is equals to 0 so because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we need to divide both of the sides by 10 in order to remove this 10 from uh, uh, the left hand side so that we divide both of the sides by 10 and it will be written as this 10 is cancelled out by this 10 and we get here in our left hand side is x is equals to this is 0 divided by 10 and we know that when we divide 0 by any other number it is all it is always equals to 0 so in the first method we easily get the root of the given equation is x is equals to 0 so here we get just only one root of the given equation and now we need to verify that is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root so for uh, verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is x is equals to x divided by 11 this is our given question statement and now we need to put the value of x on both of the sides of this equation when you put it here it will becomes 0 is equals to 0 divided by 11 and now you see here this is 0 is equals to so we get here 0 is equals to 0 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about x is equals to 0 is that x is equals to 0 be the only solution of the given equation so here first I can explain and the difference between solution and extraneous root so the roots which uh, does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the root which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation so here we have x is equals to 0 be the solution and now here we move towards our second method and in second method uh, here first we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is x is equals to x divided by 11 so in second method here i can just give you a nice technique in which uh, how you get the value of x in another method okay so here just i can give you a technique another technique to find the values of x so here first we need to move x over 11 into the left hand side and it will becomes x minus x over 11 is equal to 0 and uh, now here uh, we first make the denominators of both of these terms are same for this here you see that the denominator of this term is 11 and the denominator of this term is 1 so in order to make the denominators are same we need to multiply this term by 11 and it will be written as 11x divided by 11 is equals to 
uh, a minus x divided by 11 and this is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step you see here the denominator of both of these terms are same so that we will take the LCM of this term and its LCM will become 11 when we divide this 11 by 11 you get here 11 x minus when you divide this by this we again get here x and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here uh, we move this 11 to the right hand side and 11 times of 0 becomes 0 and this is 11 x minus x becomes 10 x is equals to 0 so that uh, here for the values of x we need to divide both of the sides by 10 in order to find the values of x so when you divide by 10 it will be written as this 10 is cancelled out by this 10 and we get here x is equals to 0 by 10. So 0 by 10 becomes here 0. So this is the value of x which we get here again from first method and we already verified this value in the first method. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.